In July of 1921, Colonel Billy Mitchell took to the skies with his first provisional air brigade and sunk the unsinkable captured German battleship, the Ostfriesland, proving that air power could indeed sink ships. But the Navy was still skeptical. Before his death in 1936, Colonel Mitchell predicted two things. That there would indeed be a war between America and Japan, and that air power was going to forge one of these countries to victory. When the Japanese attacked our naval base, Pearl Harbor, in 1941, we had just three aircraft carriers in the Pacific. But America's industrial might, this sleeping giant the Japanese so feared, would go on to produce approximately 150 aircraft carriers. Gone were the glory days of the battleship, for it's going to be the aircraft carrier that's going to turn the tide in the Pacific. At the Battle of Coral Sea in May of 1942, and then a month later at the Battle of Midway, it became evident that to control the Pacific, you would have to control the skies. One of the aircraft we used to achieve this air superiority was the TBM Avenger. Although its combat debut at the Battle of Midway was less than desirable, it will be the U.S. Navy's primary torpedo plane from mid-1942 to the end of the war. The TBM Avenger was the largest single-engine aircraft used by the U.S. during World War II and was initially built by Grumman. Those were called TBFs. Grumman, however, needed to focus on building a fighter to battle the highly superior Japanese Zero. So Eastern Division of General Motors picked up the patent, giving them the nomenclature of TBM. Initially designed to launch a 2,000 pound torpedo, they enjoyed more success carrying four 500 pound bombs and destroyed numerous Japanese cargo vessels as well as island defenses. They could be launched off of our main fleet carriers or catapulted off of our smaller escort carriers. The Avenger was also involved in sinking the world's two largest battleships, the Yamato and Musashi, proving that it has lived up to its name in avenging the attack on Pearl Harbor. 